Did you know that dinosaurs roamed our planet for about 165 million years? That's 825 times longer than humans have been around. Now let's step back in time to the inception of these incredible creatures. Picture a world vastly different from our own, the Mesozoic era. This era, stretching from around 252 to 66 million years ago, is famously known as the Age of Dinosaurs. It's divided into three distinct periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. The Triassic period marked the dawn of the dinosaurs. This was a time when the Earth was a single supercontinent, Pangaea. The climate was mostly hot and dry, a stark contrast to the lush greenery we associate with dinosaur habitats today. Yet, the hardy dinosaurs began their journey here, small and nimble, gradually evolving to survive in this harsh environment. Next came the Jurassic period, the golden age of dinosaurs. Over this time Pangaea began to break apart, and the climate became more humid, giving rise to dense forests. This change in environment triggered the evolution of a plethora of dinosaur species. Some grew to gargantuan sizes like the long-necked and long-tailed sauropodomorphs, while others developed wings, like the pterosaurs. The final act of this grand play was the Cretaceous period. The world continued to change, continents drifted apart, creating diverse habitats. Dinosaurs adapted splendidly, diversifying into a wide range of species. From the ferocious Tyrannosaurus rex to the armored Ankylosaurus, dinosaurs were the undisputed rulers of the planet. But it wasn't just their size and strength that made dinosaurs successful. They were also intelligent social creatures. Some species cared for their young, while others displayed complex behaviors like hunting in packs, and possibly even communicating. So, dinosaurs were the real kings and queens of our planet for an incredibly long time. But then, something catastrophic happened. Imagine a day just like any other, and then suddenly, the sky turns dark, filled with a blinding flash of light. Our journey takes us back some 65 million years to the late Cretaceous period. It was then that an event of astronomical proportions sealed the fate of our giant predecessors, the dinosaurs. The leading theory suggests a massive asteroid or perhaps a comet, around 6 miles in diameter, hurtling through space at unthinkable speeds, targeted our planet. Its destination? Near what we now know as the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Picture this. An object larger than Mount Everest, traveling at speeds exceeding 20,000 miles per hour. As it hurtled towards Earth, it carried with it the energy equivalent to a billion Hiroshima bombs. The impact was cataclysmic, to say the least. The impactor vaporized on contact, creating a crater over a hundred miles wide and several miles deep. The force of the impact was so immense that it triggered fires hundreds of miles away. It was as if the entire planet was set aflame. But the devastation didn't stop there. The massive displacement of water from the impact site triggered tsunamis that swept across the oceans, obliterating anything in their path. The colossal force of the impact also sent billions of tons of debris into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and plunging the world into darkness. This nuclear winter effect resulted in a drastic drop in temperature, disrupting the Earth's climate system and leading to the extinction of countless species. The world as the dinosaurs knew it was turned upside down in a matter of hours. The lush, vibrant landscapes they called home were now charred and desolate. Their dominion over the Earth was abruptly ended by a visitor from the cosmos. In the blink of an eye, the world as the dinosaurs knew it was turned upside down, but the worst was yet to come. If the immediate effects of the impact weren't enough, what followed was even worse. Imagine a world plunged into darkness, a sudden and drastic change in temperature, and the collapse of the food chain. That's precisely the aftermath of the asteroid impact that marked the end of the Cretaceous period. First off, the impact sent a massive amount of debris into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight. With the sun's rays obscured, the planet's temperature dropped drastically. This was a literal dark age, an era of perpetual twilight if you will. Photosynthesis, the very process that fuels life on Earth came to a near standstill. Plants withered and died, transforming lush landscapes into desolate wastelands. Now, imagine the ripple effect this had on the food chain. Herbivorous dinosaurs, the plant eaters, starved as their food sources disappeared. The carnivorous dinosaurs dependent on the herbivores for sustenance, soon followed suit. The smaller creatures, the ones that survived on insects or scavenged, they too struggled in this new world order. The drastic temperature changes further exacerbated the survival conditions. The extreme cold alone was enough to kill off many species, but that wasn't the only climatic challenge. 
the blocked sunlight meant the planet also lost its means to regulate temperature. The result? Wild fluctuations between bitter cold and extreme heat, conditions that few creatures could withstand. Let's not forget the disruption of the water cycle. With the sun blocked, evaporation rates decreased, leading to a significant reduction in rainfall. This resulted in droughts, further stressing the already fragile ecosystems. This domino effect of devastation led to the mass extinction event we often refer to as the Great Dying. It's estimated that nearly three quarters of all species on Earth became extinct during this period. The dinosaurs, despite their size and dominance, were not immune to this cataclysm. So, within a relatively short time, the mighty dinosaurs were wiped off the face of the Earth. But what if I told you not all of them perished? Yes, you heard it right. Not all dinosaurs went extinct. In fact, amidst the widespread devastation and loss, there were survivors. These were not your typical monstrous thunder-thighed beasts we often envision when we think about dinosaurs. No, these were the smaller bird-like dinosaurs, agile and adaptable, who managed to weather the storm. Now you might be thinking how did these bird-like dinosaurs survive when their larger counterparts could not? Well it's believed that these small dinosaurs had certain traits which gave them a survival advantage. They were probably warm-blooded which helped them withstand the dramatic temperature shifts that followed the cataclysm. They had beaks instead of teeth, which allowed them to eat a wider variety of food when resources became scarce, and their small size meant they didn't need as much food to begin with. But survival was just the first step. Over the course of millions of years these bird-like dinosaurs began to evolve, adapting to the new world that was emerging from the ashes of the old. Their scales transformed into feathers, their forelimbs became wings, and they developed the ability to fly. Yes, those tiny feathered creatures you see flitting about in your backyard? They're not just birds, they are the last living dinosaurs. It's a remarkable tale, isn't it? These tiny creatures, descendants of the mighty dinosaurs, have not only survived but thrived, filling every corner of the earth with their presence. From the hummingbird hovering by your window to the eagle soaring high above the mountains, every bird you see is a testament to the enduring legacy of the dinosaurs. So, the next time you see a bird, remember, you're looking at a descendant of the mighty dinosaurs. These creatures, though small in stature, carry the weight of an ancient lineage on their wings, serving as a living reminder of a world long past and the tenacity of life in the face of overwhelming odds. So, we've traveled back in time, witnessed a catastrophic event, and discovered the surprising survivors. Let's take a moment to reflect on this incredible journey we've embarked on. We started with the inception of dinosaurs, these awe-inspiring creatures that dominated our planet for over 160 million years. From the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex, to the towering Brachiosaurus, they were the true titans of their time. Then, we delved into the unexpected catastrophe that abruptly ended their reign. A celestial body, approximately six miles wide, plummeted towards Earth, causing an explosion so powerful, it altered the course of life on our planet. This cataclysmic event led to a series of devastating effects. Wildfires, tsunamis, and a nuclear winter that blocked sunlight, leading to a drastic drop in temperature. The aftermath was stark. The world was plunged into darkness and cold, making it impossible for most dinosaurs to survive. Their extinction marked the end of the Mesozoic era, a period often referred to as the Age of Dinosaurs. But from this devastation emerged surprising survivors. Among the ash and rubble of the post-impact world, life found a way. Some small feathered dinosaurs managed to endure the harsh conditions, evolving and adapting over millions of years. And today their descendants flit and soar around us, the birds. The legacy of dinosaurs is not confined to the dusty pages of prehistory books or the hallowed halls of museums, it's alive, tweeting in our gardens, soaring in our skies. So the next time you spot a bird, remember, you're looking at a little piece of ancient history, a living testament to the resilience of life. Thanks for joining this journey into the past. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button, subscribe for more and share it with your friends. Until next time keep exploring the mysteries of our incredible world.